Greetings, friends. And welcome back to Majora's Mask. Yeah, so time to go talk to the mask salesman. Yeah. And get the song of healing. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. Talk to me. Were you able to recover your precious item from that imp? Oh, 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 you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it! <laughs> Where the fuck did he get that? Right. And listen to me, please play this song that I am about to perform and remember it well. Follow mm. along after me. Why does he need such a huge organ for such a tiny song? I think that's the joke. <laughs> he whips out this triple layer, like, grand organ thing <laughs> and plays three notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. What's happening? <laughs> So much motion blur. He's mm. just waving goodbye. Yep. Goodbye. <laughs> Sweet. He's like, thank God. <laughs> this is a melody that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I am sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. Ah, oh, yes. I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside the mask. When you wear it, you will transform into the shape you just were. When you remove it, you will return to normal. We got the DQ mask. <laughs> so now we can become a DQ whenever we want to. Or sometimes when we don't. <laughs> you just have to. Now I've fulfilled my promise to you. So please give me that which you promised me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Don't tell me. My mask. You did. Get it back. Didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> what have you done to me? Oh, if you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. Link's like, I'm gonna go. The mask that was stolen from me, it is called Majora's Mask, like the game. It is an accursed item from legend that is said to have been used by an ancient tribe in its hexing rituals. It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's Mask were so great... The Ancient Ones, fearing such catastrophe, sealed the mask in shadow forever, preventing its misuse. Wait, they were, they were so great that what? <laughs> they, they, <laughs> they had to seal it. Yeah, but now that tribe from the legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. Mm hmm. Yeah, it just like showed that wall of fire like yeah. it did something crazy. Right. But I feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask. When I finally had it, I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was that unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now that imp has it. I'm begging you. You must get the mask back quickly or something horrible will happen. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. You must do it. Really? You'll do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I was certain you would tell me that. You'll be fine. Surely you can do it. Believe in your strengths. Believe. Alright, thanks, man. I'll see you at the end of the game. <laughs> Goodbye forever. <laughs> do you want to read that? That mask. The Skull Kid uses the power of that mask to do those terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we've got to do something about it. The swamp, mountains, ocean, and canyon that Tail was trying to tell us about. I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside town. There's one in each compass direction. But what do you suppose he meant by the four who were there? I have no idea. He always skips important stuff. I guess we should just go and find out. If we go through that gate straight ahead, we'll be heading in the direction of the swamp. Yeah, but guess what? We're not doing that today. Yeah, we're doing a bunch of side quests. Yeah, so first things we're gonna do, um... Actually, I don't know if I should slow down time. I don't think it's gonna be really necessary. I think I'll be able to manage time well. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm gonna do all the stuff that we just did as a DQ. 
but as a person. Yeah. Here, my plea. Take me to the North Fountain. Do the same thing you did last time. Also, um, in the first three-day cycle that we did when we were stuck as a DQ, time was going a lot faster than it is now. Yeah. Like, that's just how it is. Mm -hmm. They were like, let's, you know, get it going, because mm -hmm. this is the, the first three days. You can't really do a whole lot. We don't want kids getting bored. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then let me just uh, equip this in case I need it. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be using it a ton today. Alrighty. Actually, yeah, I'm about to use it right now. <laughs> I'm gonna get some of these rupees and he's faster. And we'll skip that from now on, but it yeah. like makes you watch it the first time. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> okay, cool. <clears throat> I wonder if we can get into that weird glitch that we used to do when we were kids where you press A at the last second when he's putting the mask on. And then what happens? <laughs> He'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> be like a loud like sound. It'd be crunch. like a really crazy stuttering sound. <laughs> yeah, we probably can. I don't... <laughs> I'll try it when I come back out here and I pop the, uh, the kid's balloon. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Hey girl, I'm back. Like you told me, <laughs> come back when you're a person. <laughs> Look at me now. Yeah, now we're gonna get something super useful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because they don't have gold skulltulas in this game, they've got fairies. Mm -hmm. Three fairies. Oh, Tattle and you, kind young one, thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. Blah, 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 blah. All I can do is offer you easy <laughs> weariness. Except that's a lie. You have a mask for me. <laughs> Give me the mask. Oh, kind young one, scattered throughout the four temples of this land are broken stray fairies like me. Please find a way to save them and return them to their fountains. Surely they will add to your strength. Allow me to grant you something good so that the stray fairies will not fear you. <laughs> something good. It looks kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of these masks are freaky looking. <laughs> Come see me whenever the quest has made you weary. Bleh. Yeah, so now your hair will sparkle when you wear that mask if there's a stray fairy in the room. It's a lot more obvious in this version, too, than the 3DS one, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly. Yeah, in the 3DS version, you can, like, barely see it. Mm -hmm. But um, they'll also come right to you, like, as long as they're not trapped in a bubble or something else. Oh, I missed up oh, the timing. <laughs> I know what you're talking about, yeah. though. We used to, like, hit A right when, like, the, <laughs> the shattery effect happens, and it's, like, it, it just, like, continues. Yeah, it, it does, like, a weird slow-mo effect to the sound. Yeah. Hey, all that same stuff I said before. You the guy who popped up the balloon? Yeah, and you gotta talk to him as a person. Don't mm -hmm. talk... Pop the balloon as a DQ because it's the only way, and then talk to him as a person. Otherwise, it's gonna be the same outcome. Yeah. They think they're playing hide-and-seek with whoever they talk to also, so if you, like... You can hit him with a bubble as a DQ, which I probably will in a minute, but then you gotta run up to him as a person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me do this again. I'm trying to think about... Will they run from you if you're at the DQ? Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, they will. Hey. Take that. <laughs> but then if you, like, run up to them as the DQ, they're like, Hey, we're playing a game. Like, mm -hmm. leave us alone. <laughs> Like, why didn't you just sit there and wait then? Yeah, and some people, you know like, me. some people complain about, like, when this game came out, they were like, oh, it's so unrealistic, you're, like, watching the people transform right in front of you, but then with Twilight Princess, they made it so that you have to be, like, away from everyone when you transform into a wolf, and I'm like, that's great, guys. <laughs> I would much rather just do this. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I know it's not realistic, I'm a fairy boy. <laughs> like, <laughs> Nothing right. in this game is realistic. Nothing! The moon has a face! Yeah! <laughs> What is this, Teletubbies? In reverse? In reverse, yeah. <laughs> Instead of a happy sun, it's a disgusting angry moon. Angry moon. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that little bit of lag. Yeah, I really wish they would like just remaster and port it. They don't have to like fix it like they did with the 3DS, yeah. quote unquote, fix it, fix it. yeah. <laughs> And it's all I better now. Fixed it. <laughs> hey guys, this <laughs> like thing was trashed. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> like <laughs> they there ruined was a, it. Um, episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog where Eustace did something <laughs> like that. That skull kid broke our rules, but he's been doing all kinds of bad things lately. Starting today, he's out. I'm making Link a bomber. <laughs> you guys don't mind, right? Right. This is the bomber's notebook. It contains the words we live by. Read it over. Sweet. It allows you to keep track of people's schedules like yeah. a little freak. <laughs> <laughs> no, but since you're living the same three days over and over again, it's really helpful. Especially if you don't want to use a freaking guide. Mm -hmm. Get the bomber's notebook. And then they give us the code again, and it's gonna be like written down in the book. Yeah, three, one, two, four, five. Yeah, in the 3DS version, they kind of did like a double-edged sword thing, because they made it better by um, like giving you more information, but then this part is like so long. Like every yeah. little notification takes like five seconds. And it pops up constantly. All the time, for everything. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, in um, this game, you can just press A every time it happens and it goes away real fast. Yeah. I love the original version of this game. I just wish, like, the resolution was higher yeah. and they removed some of those fuzzy effects. If they gave it the 3DS resolution but without the fixes, mm -hmm. that'd be sweet. Right. Yeah, and, like, the colors are so much more vibrant. They, like, redid the polygons and stuff. Oh, yeah, let me do this. Yeah. Now we're sweet. gonna get another song. Mm -hmm. I mean, once we go to the Swamp Palace, oh, yeah. or whatever. Does he teach it to you in the 3DS version right there? Um, uh, no, he doesn't. I just forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like sitting on like a tombstone or headstone yeah. or something. Hey, man. It's the friggin' Bora Bora or whatever the owl's name is. Mm-hmm. Kapora Gabora. Yeah. Boring, boring. Secretly Rauru in disguise. This guy just wants me to cut logs. Yeah, just Dude. gotta jump attack him. Yep. Boom. Ten of them. So hard. Mm -hmm. And he, like, automatically puts your sword away when you talk to him. That's, like, just what Link does. He's a polite boy mm -hmm. who always sheathes his sword when speaking. Or listening, rather, because he don't speak. <laughs> <laughs> if he ever did, I feel like they'd give him, like, not-so-great voice. I don't know. I, I kind of like that he's still the silent protagonist. Mm -hmm. It'd just be funny if in like one of these cutscenes they were like, SAY SOMETHING! <laughs> <laughs> I must give you something. Here. Sweet. Sweet. Unbelievable. Cherish it well. No. Just share it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw it in the toilet. Get to the gooey pink inside. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, for the freaking piece of heart. Yeah, I was like thinking of the toilet. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> gooey pink inside uh. of a toilet? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, I've been taking pink shits. <laughs> that would be so weird. Okay, I'm. I'm just be custard. <laughs> I'm just gonna be doing a couple of other things before I call this an episode. All right. So first, let me go over here. Hey, <clears throat> this is the mayor's office. Mm -hmm. This is the secretary. I don't think she has a name. She's a little weird looking. <laughs> Here's this guy. Hey, I'm angry now. Don't speak to me. They must be joking. Now what am I to do? <laughs> he's with the circus that's in town. Mm -hmm. I think he's the leader. Yeah, literally just said troop leader. Hey, talk to me. Speak. <laughs> <laughs> Are the fins damp lately? That's the greeting used among the Zoras. Oh, forgive me, I'm Toto, manager at the band, the Indigo Goes. I'm out of business cards, so a Zora greeting will have to do. The Indigo Goes is the popular group that we Zora are so proud of. They've put out a lot of songs. One of their hits is Ballad of the Windfish. You know that song, don't you? Huh? You don't? Really? Even one that famous? Hmm. You'd be able to hear it if the show wasn't canceled. It's such a shame. Sweet. Toto, and then you. Oh dear, are you on a field trip or are you the expert person finder I hired? Yes, 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 I say you have the face of a pro. <laughs> the characteristics of the person I want you to find. Yes, yes, I know them. <laughs> the person I want you to locate is my son, Cafe. You know him, don't you? You don't? Really? He disappeared about a month ago. It's terrible. I'm so very worried. I can't get food down my throat and I've lost five pounds. You haven't anything though. Oh, you haven't anything though? Oh dear, what? Yeah, Could you, you look for him? Oh, to like give her evidence yeah. or whatever. Oh my, of course, you are an expert. Well, I'm counting on you. Cafe. Yeah, 
<laughs> it looks really creepy. It looks like the mask from House of Wax. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Madame Aroma, the mayor's wife. Sweet, and then I think... <laughs> or like V for Vendetta if he didn't have a mask. Yeah. Um, is there a diary up in here? Yes. I want to read it. Cafe's diary. The wedding ceremony is soon. It might be early, but I finished my wedding mask. I wonder if Anju has made hers. She tends to do things at the last minute, so probably not. There's a gathering of the fellows at the milk bar tonight. I plan to show off my wedding mask and talk about my sweetheart as best I can. <laughs> Anything else? Nah. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, so I guess that was, like, the last entry. And <laughs> he went to the milk bar. I wonder if they give you information on, um... Sakan, or whatever his name is there. Page two of his diary. After a night getting drunk at the milk bar with my friends, I've decided to get divorced. <laughs> <laughs> the wedding's off. <laughs> the wedding's <laughs> off. I'm married to the milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. It double-clicked it. <laughs> oh. I hate when it does that. It's so sensitive. <laughs> He's like, I'm giving it all up for the milk. <laughs> That sweet Chateau Romaine, he... Mm -hmm. a lot of cool stuff and blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to get a piece of paper. Or I'm getting the, the moon's tear so I can get that piece of paper from the DQ. Mm -hmm. I'm do this. Eh. Whoa. <laughs> and then I'm going to go talk to Anju, and then that'll be the end of the episode. <laughs> Skullful of music. Mm -hmm. There's freaks about! <laughs> They're everywhere! And I gotta get back before 3.30, goddamn. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think I'm gonna slow down time. <coughs> I just don't wanna mess up. I wanna be able to yeah. get that room, because there's a 100 rupee thingy in there, and we can get the adult's wallet in this three-day cycle. Yeah, unless the Goron sweeps in and screws us. Yeah, he shows up at 3.30, so yeah. we should be good. It's like 1.30 now, and now the clock's going super slow. Mm -hmm. I feel like it goes like three or four times slower than normal. Yeah, that's another fix about the 3DS version that really sucks, is that you can't get that room until you have the Goron mask. Yeah. They're like, oh yeah, we registered his race, too. It's a yeah. Goron named Link. <laughs> and then, you know... As long as you're not a Deku, because I think if you're a Deku, then she's like, Oh, yeah, no, you didn't have a room. You're a child I've never seen before. You knew a member, blah, blah, blah. You can use a telescope if you want. <laughs> you should try talking to him a second time. I'll see if it works. Let you work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> and then it falls from the sky. <laughs> Just falls through the roof. <laughs> it Do landed you... like... A few feet away. It's right. a real miracle, honestly. Yeah, they should all be dead. <laughs> Realistically, they'd all be yeah. dead. I'm gonna watch this guy fly into his hole, too, yeah. just so that in this three-day cycle we can go and uh, buy his piece of heart. Mm -hmm. This is the guy from town. Yeah, the Deku. Mm -hmm. He's got a secret hidey hole out here. Yeah, he has a piece of heart for sale. He wants to sell it for 150 but if you tell him no, then he's like, okay, 100 And there's Death Mountain in the background that has no relevance to the game. <laughs> it's in the swamp for whatever reason. I guess that's where the poison water is coming from. It looks like purple. I thought it was coming from the palace. I, I thought so too. Maybe the palace is up at the top. That maybe that's Woodfall. Maybe. Yeah, because it it's like be. it's like a big yeah. tree and it's like a waterfall. Shit. We figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> Took us this long. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, we always were like, why is there Death Mountain? Yeah, it looks exactly <laughs> like it has a smoke ring up at top. Yeah. Well, how is it? Did you discover anything? Talk to him again. No. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> if I go back in, do you think it'll... I mean, he'll probably let me, right? Yeah. I just keep talking to him and exiting out over and over again. <laughs> Waste the entire day. <laughs> yeah, yes. he's letting me do it again. Yeah, so I guess he is, he is just... I wonder what he would say if we talked to him as a DQ. He probably would do his one and done thing. Mm -hmm. He would let us do it once and then not let us do it again. I don't want to keep doing yeah, it. No. Be like, no, you're a DQ. You're not allowed to look. Yeah. <laughs> Get your nasty bubble snout away from my telescope. <laughs> Alrighty. 
Don't lag on me now, game. <laughs> There's nothing going on. Y'all, if you want to experience the most lag-tastic Nintendo 64 games I've ever experienced, it's the last few ones that Rare released on the N64. They released a lot of bangers, but the system couldn't really handle most of them. <laughs> if you get the Rare replay thing on Xbox One, all of them have been like remastered for the most part, except for like Donkey Kong 64, because Nintendo owns it. <laughs> um, but uh, that's a lot better. But like Perfect Dark and Banjo-Tooie... And this game are probably, like, some of the worst performing ones. Just because, like, there's so much going on. And they gotta mm -hmm. use, like, the expansion pack and all that shit. Get out Move away. faster, <laughs> you dolt! <laughs> hey, girl. Welcome to the stock party. Um, do you have a reservation? Yes. Yes. Do you have a reservation? That's good. Mr. Link, is it? One moment, please. Mr. Link, I have you down for an afternoon arrival. Your room is in the knife chamber on the second floor. Here's your key. Sweet. You're not sure why, but apparently you had a reservation. <laughs> Please relax. Andrew the innkeeper was added. <laughs> she looks high as fuck right there. Then why do we have to go to the knife chamber? What if we went in there and there's just knives hanging from the ceiling? They're all like stabbed into the bed. Right. <laughs> You're also looking for cafe. I have a request. Cafe, I have a clue that will help you find him. Tonight at 11.30, please come to our kitchen. I'll be there at midnight. Mm -hmm. We'll talk then. <laughs> That's what she should say, because yeah. she, like, leaves her room at 11.30 and then mm -hmm. walks so slow <laughs> all the way down. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call the episode. In between, I'm probably going to go deposit the rupees and then maybe play the song of inverse time again just to get things moving along. But thank you for watching, and we hope you'll join us next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.